If y'all think I look like a grandma, comment down below because my sister just roasted me saying I look like a grandma getting ready to go to church, which I kind of see now. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about six ways that you can make your 2020 amazing. The best of your life, how you can do it. Um, it'll take some motivation from you, but you can do it. I believe in you. If nobody else can believe in you, I will. Okay? I got you. You right there. I got you. Don't worry. This is going to be your year. And I'm going to manifest it with you and for you. Okay? So yeah, before we get this video started, I just want to do a little disclaimer. Um, first of all, this is the first sit-down video I've literally filmed in years. So if I'm acting really weird or like awkward, it's just because I'm not used to filming with all these lights and everything yet. Like it's just... It's, it's been a while, so just excuse the weirdness. Um, I'm literally 19 years old. I'm a freshman in college. Um, every piece of advice I'm giving you in this video is either through stuff I've learned throughout life or I've gotten off of like the, in the internet, the Instagram. Things I've gotten off of Instagram, the internet, or other videos. I've been obsessed with these kinds of videos lately, like these like 2020 motivational inspiring videos because I'm a sucker for like the kind of a like this new year time where it's like new year new me like productivity like boom boom like kind of just like a it's like a time period of like um growth and kind of setting goals and planning and i love all of those things as you can see my bullet journal is freaking jam-packed for this video um so yeah i'm a planner so i love the new year's time because it kind of allows me to reflect on last year and kind of set new goals and stuff like that so yeah these are just six ways that you guys can make your 2020 amazing i hope you enjoy this video and yeah let's just go ahead and get started because i talk way too much so let's let's do that. so tip number one is to treat yourself better now there's uh, this is a very generic kind of point but i think you can kind of take from it what you want um basically i'm saying your body is your temple you have to worship it maintain it in order for it to run in order for it to be like still standing strong you know what i mean so um uh, making healthier choices when it comes to eating i'm not saying you have to eat salads every day i'm not saying but um you just need to give your body good whole foods um every once in a while i know it's easy these days to, you know go to mcdonald's or go to chick-fil-a or you know go to fast food um because you know some days you just don't feel like cooking which is totally fine not saying you can't do that it's just that it's really important that you don't get lost in that lifestyle and that you make sure you have you know like an apple or a banana make yourself a smoothie um i love making smoothie bowls and acai bowls um i'm showing you guys how to do this right now just to kind of spice up this video i'm going to show you guys some things that i like to do and implement in my life so this is just a basic acai bowl um you can get all these ingredients from you know target walmart the acai is kind of hard to find but they have some at target and they also have some at trader joe's which is where i got mine from and you basically just mix it all together and make a smoothie and put it in a bowl and then add some cute toppings and it's really good fun and fresh it's really delicious and it's something i look forward to especially after i work out or in the mornings and during the day and stuff like that it's something nice to make when you have a little more time but not everybody has time so if you don't have time you can always like kind of pre-make meals you can do overnight oats overnight smoothies you know stuff like that but the underlying thing with treating yourself better as a whole is that you have to want to do it um you can't just kind of expect good things to happen you kind of have to put it into the universe and kind of jump start these things for yourself because if you can't even do it for yourself then who's going to do it um, another point to this first tip is to stop comparing yourself to others you know don't get caught up in drama especially because i'm 19 so i just graduated high school uh like a couple months ago and it's just really kind of sad to see like really the people that peaked in high school they're still doing the same stuff still hanging with the same people which is totally fine i'm not saying like you have to move on and leave everything you know but it's just people who get caught up in you know the drama it's kind of like yikes sis like move on right up high school be mindful about the people you're putting yourself around because if you're with people who party every weekend and you know don't like school and kind of always home and never really kind of do anything for themselves then that can kind of sneak back into your life so you want to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with really positive people really motivated people and another way i like to do this is to follow people on instagram um a lot of vloggers on youtube i love the beauty lifestyle community on youtube i spend hours like watching vlogs productivity videos bullet journal videos like i am just that's if you follow people that are more productive and really are always like on the go get stuff done um then it will kind of motivate you it's really honestly changed my lifestyle watching those youtubers because now i'm like oh like i could do this like and it becomes more attainable when you see other people doing it so that's why we like to watch people like them like 
um, The Gals on the Go, Kate Milburn, um, Kenzie Elizabeth, there's just a few. I'll put some more in the description bar or comment and I will talk to you about like who I love to watch, my favorite people because it sounds ridiculous but like that's really like it's really changed. Also thinking positively, just having a positive mindset, waking up and being like oh like I don't want to go to work, oh I'm so tired. Like yeah it's okay to express your feelings but at the end of the day always having a negative kind of like Debbie Downer mindset is really just gonna kind of turn you into that person and it's not enjoyable not only for yourself but for other people to be around. It's one thing if it's like a humorous kind of joke or something like that but if you're constantly you know putting yourself down thinking negatively like oh could this day get any worse like instead think okay this happened but how can this day you know how can I still keep going how can I still have a good day even though this happened it affected me you know what I mean so it's kind of a part of that like emotional wellness um processing emotions thing I was just talking about but yeah that's another major point and that's something I try to work on a lot this year too but I'm excited to work on for 2020. Okay so step number two to making 2020 your year is to start journaling and manifesting so I this year I've discovered manifestation and how like when I first heard of it I was like okay this is cheesy like this is stupid like there's no way but y'all let me tell you that stuff is so real like I don't even know where I first heard about it. There's this YouTuber, her name's Luca Whitaker, and she introduced me to the idea of manifestation and stuff like that. So I kind of like did my own research and fell in love with it. Um, and a lot of my friends do it now too, but basically it's when you kind of think positively and kind of speak stuff into existence. I know there was like a Twitter thing. It was like, I speak it into existence, blah, blah, blah. That kind of <laughs> trend happened. I don't know, it was a long time ago. What, how I interpret manifesting is when you write stuff down, think about stuff or kind of have like a visual representation of things that you want and not even just material things but it's just kind of like goals for yourself and kind of achieving the life that you really want. I know it's hard sometimes to kind of go for things and have good things come your way when you feel like a lot of stuff in your life is like kind of like falling apart sometimes but manifesting has really helped me not only my mindset but actually like get the things that I want in life um, and this is a materialistic example so I apologize but I just want to show you guys how crazy manifesting is. So basically, I a couple months ago in my bullet journal, I wrote big things that I wanted to say about four in my like uh, bullet journal, my spread. So I had things to say about four. It's kind of crusty. So yeah, I never finished the spread, but that's beside the point. I actually accomplished all three of these things, which is crazy. Like it sounds stupid, but it's just like I kind of just so like casually like, oh, write these down things I want to say about four things I want by the end of the year, and I literally achieved all three of them. So I don't know. It sounds stupid, but there's really something like magical in manifesting, and I think you all should try it. Um, I'm not the best at explaining it. There's plenty of videos on YouTube you can look up about manifestation and all that kind of stuff. People might not believe in it. They might think it's a strange coincidence, but if you want to try it, I totally recommend it because I think it has literally changed my life. Like, it's just a proof that, you know, putting good things in the universe and giving out good energy and kind of having a good aura can really come back in a good way. The second point I had was bullet journaling. So bullet journaling has changed my life. Um, I'm one of the people who used to get all these agendas and all these planners and notebooks and I would use them for like two months and then I would stop using them and that was it and I wasted the whole thing and then by the time I got like back in the grind and the groove of using a planner it would be outdated or I would need to get a new one. So basically like two summers ago I discovered bullet journaling and has literally changed my life. So this is my bullet journal. It's gray. It's a Leuchtturm uh, 1917. I actually have a bullet journal video on my channel but it's kind of crusty and not even going to hold you like it's crusty um but you can watch it if you want um and basically bullet journaling is just a way to visually kind of just make your own agenda and your own planner and you don't have to use it as a gender or planner you can use it for literally like journaling like writing down and like writing down how your day went you can use it for tracking things and there's like a whole actual like literal system for it there's plenty of other bullet journal videos on youtube so like i'm not even gonna act like i'm like an expert or anything like that but i'll just show you what i've done um, and there's like a whole kind of community within bullet journaling and it's amazing. A lot of my friends are really good at it, but yeah, you just write down, you can do however you want. I have a moon calendar in here. I had things that make me happy. Definitely recommend bullet journaling. For me, journaling is like more self care too. Like it's just therapeutic to write stuff down, color code, have color schemes. I'm a very visual person as I've said like 40 million times already. So I love bullet journaling and it's a really good thing to implement in your life. So if you need something new, any way to get organized, I totally recommend bullet journaling for you. Tip number three to make your 2020 amazing is to go outside. I know you all are on your phones all day, on TikTok, on Twitter, Instagram, watching YouTube videos on your computer, doing homework, writing emails, all, well, emails, somebody really likes those, but beside the point. But like, 
this day and age it's so important to go outside because everything we need is literally on our phones so it's so important to go outside get fresh air um going outside has a lot of health benefits me and my friends um did a our senior year capstone project for high school about this so i could literally go on and on forever about it but i'll let you guys do that research for yourself because i can't talk about that ever again i just did it way too much but i know when i'm on the computer for too long i get headaches and i just need to step outside sometimes i know it's winter outside though so it's kind of harder if there's like snow on the ground especially for y'all who live in like you know the parts where it actually snows maryland we haven't seen snow yet so i don't know what's up with that but just literally walk out your back porch drink your coffee out there take a deep breath you know kind of just meditate for a little bit just really think about everything and kind of just enjoy the outdoors Tip number four to making your 2020 amazing is to start waking up earlier. And I'm not saying wake up at 5 a.m. I'm not saying wake up at 6 a.m. I'm just saying maybe don't sleep until 2 p.m. every day. I am someone who loves to sleep, but I also stay up late on TikTok till 2 in the morning, which isn't good for me. And especially the days where I have work, I have to get up at like 6 or 7, and then I am left with four hours of sleep. Um, I know everybody's on winter break right now, so a lot of people are trying to catch up on sleep and stuff like that. It's fine to do it every once in a while, but I find when I wake up late, literally, it just ruins my whole day. Like when I wake up at like 11.30 or 12, I just feel so mad at myself and I feel like I can't be productive anymore and I feel like my whole day's gone. It's really not that deep, but for somebody like me, like I love the morning time. It's just I also love sleep and sleeping in. You have to find a balance between waking up early and getting enough sleep. So that means going to bed earlier, which is hard for me because I, my days are very packed, but what I'm coming to realize is that if I just woke up earlier, I could get stuff done earlier, which means that I would have time to do things and not be rushed all day because I always wait to the last minute to do everything, which is really bad. And also with that kind of like developing a morning routine, so like a skincare routine, you know, getting your coffee, you know, uh, reading a book, you know, just really waking up earlier will give yourself more time to have a morning routine and it will give you time to like wake up kind of more naturally and not depend on coffee or tea. If you are into that stuff, I love my coffee. So, you know, I'll always go for coffee. And that's on period. Bitch. My tip number five to make 2020 your best year is to choose a word to kind of represent your year. So this is kind of like a theme word. So words like courageous, um, strong, fearless, um, you know, productive. Choose a word that will kind of lead the tone for your year. For 2019, I chose happy, which it doesn't have to, your word doesn't have to be very you know, thought provoking or whatever. It could be whatever word you kind of want. Um, it's more of like a kind of like a goal. So like if you chose fearless, like by the end of, you know, 2020, you want to be fearless. You want to say that you did it, took all the risks you could this year. You want to say that you did anything without having to think about it, without fear. It's a kind of like a more empowering like self, not like a challenge, but it's kind of like a motivational thing that you can think of like every day and be like fearless. Like this is my year. Like let's go. And a lot of this stuff is really like you, you it sounds cheesy to like wake up every day and look in the mirror and be like fearless like blah but like you have to want for yourself to do it and it seems cheesy but it's stuff that literally works like repetition and stuff like that it really psychological like it works it works you can't think you have to be kind of mature in a way like the same thing with manifestation you have to kind of think differently in order to kind of get the use out of these methods and these tips i'm giving you because if you're kind of like childish about it then it's not going to do anything for you. you have to actually believe in it and my sixth tip for you guys is to take pictures and videos there's this really cool app um it's called one second every day i think one se in the app store you should totally get it because basically you can upload a picture or a like one second clip from every day and then it'll make a little movie by the end of the month or you can save them and make them a giant like a year-long little movie um i love photography i love videos i love making my insta story really cute and everything like that like I just love that kind of stuff and I love memories that you can hold in your hands with pictures and like stuff like that. I love, I'm a sucker for it. I have pictures all over my room, not only like digital pictures, but like if you get like a disposable camera and develop the film, stuff like that. Like when I get older and I forget some things, I want to be able to look back and be like, oh, this was blah, blah, blah. Or I totally forgot about this. Wow, this is so cool. Like, you know what I mean? I don't always take pictures just to be like, ha, for Instagram, but like to have pictures to memorize adventures and moments and like special times with your friends and family it's really special to me so definitely make sure you take more pictures in 2020 well, we have made it to the end of this video if you're still watching right now you're freaking amazing and i love you this video hopefully you have some new ways to kind of 
implement good habits into your life or kind of continue them um make sure if you found this video helpful to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below which one of the tips was your favorite or tips for me or anything i love getting comments it makes me feel so special i feel like a real youtuber when i get comments um in 2020 i'm definitely making it a point to post more edit more you know be really productive on youtube because i want to see more people like me on youtube on this platform um, and I just want to help people. So yeah, if you want to help me help people then make sure you subscribe but Yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Savannah Suber where I post things on my story post pictures of life You know, and I can help you guys keep going with your goals Um, and yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. So thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and yeah, have a great day and a great 2020